So you've heard the terms venture capital, growth equity, and private equity, but still have no idea what they mean. Let's take a look behind the curtain. At a high level, venture capital, growth equity, and private equity investment funds operate under a similar structure. First, they take in money from investors. Then, they invest the money by buying all or part of a business. Over time, they sell each investment to generate returns for their investors. As compensation, the investors pay the fund manager a small percentage of the money invested, called a management fee, as well as a cut of the profits generated, which is called carried interest. What distinguishes these investors is where they invest in a company's life cycle and whether they buy part or all of the business. To explain where each investor fits into a company's life cycle, let's start with a simple chart that shows revenue and time. Most industries start small, hit an inflection point, grow rapidly, and ultimately mature. Examples of early stage companies are artificial intelligence companies like Google DeepMind or robotics companies like Boston Dynamics. As we move along the curve, the middle of the curve includes e-commerce companies like Shopify and Amazon and social media companies like Facebook and Snapchat. At some point though, growth slows down and companies mature. Store-based retail companies like Walmart or TJ Maxx are examples of mature businesses. In the investing world, young companies are referred to as early stage. And as they approach the middle of the curve, they are typically called mid-stage and then late stage when they reach maturity. Private investment funds are broadly aligned around these stages. Early stage investors are referred to as venture capital or VC. Mid-stage investors are called growth equity and late stage investors are called leveraged buyout or LBO funds for short. It's worth noting that while all private investors are technically considered private equity or PE, when people in the industry use the term PE, they are generally referring to LBO funds. Let's follow a company as it moves along this growth curve to see where each of these investors fit in. Growth Co. begins as an idea in a company founder's head. So the founder approaches venture capital investors who provide funding to test the founder's business idea in return for a small or minority stake in the business. Now the company founder gets to work. They'll typically hire a team and push to grow the business. If the company begins to run out of money, the founder will go back to the VC investors for additional rounds of funding, which will help them grow along the growth curve. After they prove out the initial idea, the founder will start thinking about future options. Typically, these options are selling the company or raising capital from private or public market investors. In our case, the founder decides to take private funding from growth equity investors. The founder pitches the growth equity investors and they provide capital to catalyze additional growth again in return for a small stake in the business. As a point of clarification, as funding is received further into the company's journey, it's referred to as growth equity. Unfortunately though, there isn't a clear line where venture capital ends and growth equity begins. The lines between growth equity and LBO investors are similarly blurry. Once again, the founder uses the capital from investors to drive growth and moves the business up the curve. As the business matures, the founder revisits their options again and decides to raise capital from the public markets. The company will raise new capital by listing its shares on the stock market in what is called an initial public offering or IPO. After some time, the founder may decide it's time to cash out and begin looking for buyers. The typical options are to sell to a corporate company like Microsoft or Google, which we call strategic buyers, or to an LBO fund, which is referred to as a financial buyer. Let's assume shareholders approve the sale and we sell to the LBO fund. In an LBO purchase, the LBO fund will buy the entire business in a manner similar to a typical house purchase with a combination of debt and investment capital or equity. Now, after years of hard work, the founder can pop champagne on their shiny new boat, but more likely they'll find a new venture and start the process all over again. As we can see, venture capital, growth equity, and private equity investors play a major role in helping companies grow. The key differences between these investors are where they invest in a company's life cycle and whether they buy part or all of a business. Hopefully, the terms venture capital, growth equity, and private equity make a little more sense now.